So what I'm thinking of doing is raising an army here. Also, everyone's been saying that I should take Macedon out while I can. That seems like it might be a good idea, because... Hmm. I've got a choice now. Because... I Look at that. I really want to take here. But then... Yeah, what about taking Pella? Hmm. I haven't got a spy there, so it would be like a suicide charge. Can I get another spy? Nope. So I need to pull this spy back if I want to do that, which will take too long. Hmm. Right, so we're really close to leveling up our Imperium. And bronze. Brondisium is open for the taking, to be honest. I really need to nip uh, Rome in the bud before they grow too powerful. That would be an idea. So I'm going to hire a new general. Which one has the highest authority? Highest points? Even? Ah, this guy's got good points, but he's minus one support. One authority, minus one corruption... Minus 10 provincial capital. Public order. Okay, this guy... Minus 5 corruption faction-wide. I don't think we're big enough yet to worry about corruption. Uh, plus 1 authority. This guy has plus 5% income tariff from trade agreements. This guy actually seems pretty good, to be honest, even though he's... Oh, minus 6% tax rate, all provinces. That's not good. Uh, okay, let's not go with him. I want as much money as I can possibly get, because we need to be able to support armies. Plus one authority, plus one zeal. That guy might be quite good, but he's not very supported. Damn it, so much choice. Hmm. I'm actually at a... I've never actually s struggled to pick a commander before. I don't... This guy seems to be the best one, but it's all talking about the commander's unit. Whereas this guy actually has four zeal and four authority, which means that he will be his army will be able to move further on the campaign map. Damn it! I can't decide. But he's got minus one support. Jeez, I need to check the families. Geron, Geron. I don't know what that says. Geron, Tez, guarantees. Right. Yeah, so those are the councillors, in other words. Hmm. Right, let's try it. Plus one authority. Because we want to make the perfect army here. That's why I'm taking a bit... A bit longer. Royal families. Okay. Yeah, this guy, plus two local public order, local province. Enables war cry, plus one zeal, plus ten morale. Yeah, let's do this one. Raise army. Royal Spartans. There we go. Ready for battle. Okay. And then we'll raise forces on this guy. You don't... Soldiering. It's a good life. You can't life. afford to recruit this unit. Damn it. Let's get some healer archers then as well. Might as well try and pay for what we can. And then I'm going to turn on the taxation of this province. There we are. A thousand boost. So that should make us able to support an army. 
At your command. These are actually quite cheap Spartan hoplites for what they are. I guess that's what happens when you've got no choice to join the army or not. Right. So, end turn. You may issue one edict. Yes, I know. Shit, I forgot about that. Right. Minus two mercenary hiring. Oh, God, more choices. <laughs> Building construction costs. Two food plus 15 wealth. Bread and games. Four food plus 5% wealth. Plus 10 public order. And then tax harvesting. I could go with tax harvesting, but in terms of growth and looking after your people, I think bread and games is the best one. Because it's public order and more food, and food then adds to the growth, which allows you to expand your city buildings. So, yeah, let's go with that. Food and games. Um, we have got this on the way, and a library will, I'm sure, increases the research speed. Is it? No. Okay, no, that's to get dignitaries. Okay, right. So we've got quite a lot of stuff going on. And let's just end turn. Hope it doesn't take forever in the day. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to be getting back on top of doing my Rome 2 information videos as well. Because I've got quite a few other things to talk about. So that's going to be good. And I've got some interesting new little series that I want to try out. Um, they're like going to be like 5 minute videos. And they're going to be quite informative and stuff. I don't want to give it away because I don't want anyone stealing my ideas. Or stealing them in general, because that's actually started to happen with me now, and it's really quite annoying. Uh, troubled populace, where's this now? Hey, up, the wife of the magistrate. The wife of one of your magistrates is claiming that a young general forced him. Okay. Seeking permission to kill the young man. A young general forced himself. Whoa, that's... Allow the murder. Investigate further, more like. Yeah, investigate further. You don't just kill someone on rumours. Unhappy populace. Alright, these guys will be happy. There we are. Healer archers and Spartan hoplites. Tribal Confederation. Whoa, Celtic Confederation. They joined them. The Delmato. Wait a minute, if they joined a confederation, doesn't that mean that there's more factions at war with me? Uh, let's just... No, let's have a look. Yes, there we are. They are away from home. Yeah, this is where they are now. Celtic Confederation. How At difficult would it be to get round there? It's two turns away. These guys are currently still unhappy. I need to try to convert the town. Damn it. Ah, I've got... I don't have enough money for all this. I'm going to get the Shrine of Poseidon, or Temple of Poseidon, because that grants food and public order. Uh, and that's it for now. Can't really do anything else, apart from recruit some people at this army here. We hunger for battle. Why do I have this feeling of impending doom? Like something really bad is about to happen. Let's compare these two. The Spartan hoplites. 
Okay, the Perioikoi pikemen aren't that brilliant. But they cost as much as Spartans. I can't recruit that unit because I can't afford them. So let's get some more Hilo archers then. Sign up, lads, for a good and glorious life. Okay. 